A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. In those days, I, Daniel, heard this word of the Lord. At the time, there shall arise Michael, the great prince, guardian of your people. It shall be a time unsurpassed in distress, since nations begun until that time. At that time, your people shall escape, everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some shall live forever. Others shall be an everlasting horror and disgrace. But the wise shall shine brightly like the splendor of the firmament, and those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm You are my inheritance, O Lord. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the nether world, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life, fullness of choice in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every priest stands daily at his ministry, offering frequently those same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But this one offered one sacrifice for sins and took his seat forever at the right hand of God. Now he waits until his enemies are made his footstool. For by one offering, he has made perfect forever those who are being consecrated. For there is forgiveness of this, there is no longer offering for sin. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, In those days, after the tribulations, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light, the stars will be falling from the sky, and the powers in the heavens will be shaken, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Then he will send out his angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the end of the earth to the end of the sky. Learn a lesson from the fig tree. When its branch becomes tender and sprouts leaves, you know that summer is near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that he is near, at the gates. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away. But my words will not pass away. But of that day or hour no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.